Stephen, it's uh, immediately after the game. How are you feeling? I'm not actually sure. Uh, the mix between relief, excitement. Uh, I, I'm just pr probably quite proud of the boys. I mean, um, we've we've had a few big games uh, this season, last week, and we've not been quite at our best. And when you can see the goal so early to a good team, a hard team, and um, just to t just turn that turn that round and not miss the opportunity we've we had. Do you fear the worst when Air do get that early goal? Yeah, I mean, we spoke all week. I mean, they have Air are a good side, they're the, the physical team and they make you defend. And we spoke about having control in the game and we, we really struggled to get control. And we actually had to dig in to keep it 1-0 for the first 25 minutes. But after that, we really started to play and, and get into half-time. I felt the momentum had changed. I thought I thought if we get this next goal, we'll, we'll go on to win. So, um, yeah, just, just really happy with how we played. The fans seem to react to that as well, because as you say, the sort of the last 15-20 minutes of the first half, we seem to increase our tempo of passing a wee bit, and we were winning the second ball a lot more. How important was that in us trying to, to get some forward momentum? Oh, well, they know. I, I'm sure every fan came here and, and thought if Falkirk win, then we're going to we're going to play good football, and we're going to, and that's we've we've been like that here. We've, we've we've played a lot of good football here. We've won a lot of football matches here, so uh, it's come to it's what they've come to expect. So. Uh, they, they put that demand on us to play and, and, and I thought we did and as I said at half time I'd f I felt like the momentum had really swung The penalty shout for us certainly was, was pretty clean cut wasn't it? Yeah I mean we've had a lot of frustrating uh, decisions, penalties not given but I mean you get to this level of, of competition and, and you get a good ref and, and he spots it's a great spot and a, a, a stonewall penalty so delighted to, to get the penalty and back in the game and from then on I know we've gone to lose a penalty but you've got a real good feeling that we were going to do it. Do you, does your heart sink a little bit when uh, suddenly you've got you know you've worked so so hard as a player you've got your tide back on level terms and then suddenly you, you see the penalty given against you? Yeah I, could, I mean I could have been physically sick at, at that minute I mean as I said, I thought I thought we were the ones in the ascendancy. We got it back to one each. The crowd's right behind us. Honestly, I felt it was a matter of time. And I played with Chris Maguire as a real good striker of the ball. And I've got to be honest, as much as I rate young Brian, I didn't expect Chrissy to miss it. So once he misses it, yeah, I mean we can't miss this opportunity to go and win the game from there. Kai Kennedy strike is ultimately the difference between the teams. And it's the old adage of if if you don't shoot, you don't score. He seemed to cut and field, thought about a pass, and then the big shout from the Kevin McAllister stand was was shoot, and it, it paid off. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, we Kai's been great for us this season, he, and as part of the manager's tactical decision, he missed out in the game tonight, and he was pretty frustrated. But we've been a real good squad this season. There's a lot of good boys there, and, and he's came on off the bench and, and won the game for us. And at times, I mean, he's a great young player. At times, he doesn't get enough shots away, and. As you said, Dakin Yemi gets his shot away, takes a deflection, goes in, and Kai gets his shot away, and it goes in. And uh, I, th I think the Kevin McAllister stand sucked it in as well, so it took ages to go in. Just on a, on a personal level, what does this mean to, to you? Because we all due respect that the, the kind of more senior year, shall we say, of your career now. And respectfully, when you were signing up to a campaign with League One Falkirk, surely you couldn't have expected to be going back to Hamden. No, I mean, uh, as I say, I've played played a lot of years and. Uh, had a lot of cup draws that weren't kind to us and it just seemed to open right up and I thought coming here in the summer that, that obviously I know Falkirk it's in the wrong league but you want, we wanted to turn it around we wanted to get back to winning games here and as I said I came here to play in big games it's a big football club and I came to play in big games and, and to try and win them and uh, as I said the draws opened right up for us we've had some real tricky, tricky games some tough venues we've had to go to and, and a real tough game tonight but yeah, I'm just really excited to lead the team out in the semi-final now. And just finally, the all-important question. Does it uh, make the six-and-a-half-hour trip from Wick worth it? Well, as you said, you, you were on that bus. I mean, there was times on that bus around some of the bends you're starting to uh, think, what are we doing here? But, uh, I mean, it's been a good journey. Uh, cup runs are, are special, and we're at the semi-final now from, from that journey back, at, back to Wick. So, uh, yeah, as I said, really excited. Congratulations on the win and as always, thanks for your time. Cheers, Liz.